Okay, anniversary time, finally. Haha. -ha. Got a lot of nice bonuses. Oh, okay, first off, there's this thing, which I don't think I can turn in yet. It's a ticket for getting it, for picking out a five star craft essence. I'm gonna see how much I can stall on that for right now. Need feathers. Various things. Got an anniversary craft essence, which just increases friend points. That's all it does. Still nice. Okay. Got one of those meteor foes, which I haven't gotten any of the normal ones yet. No fires. Another summon ticket. These four friends. 5, 12, 34. Man, my main account got significantly more than that. Oh, and 70. Yay. There's also something that I got in the master missions. I do need to look at these. Yeah, the complete advanced quest that, I, that I'm unlocking. And just try to get some more of this type of stuff. Oh, and this thing. That thing will be nice. That's an outfit. Okay, well, I can't take a look at that from there. I, I, I clicked on it earlier and thought about it later. I also recorded a little bit of doing the GSSR on my main account, but I ended up just going like, eh, nah, that's fine. Don't need it. Um, Spirit Origin? Command code, here it is. Yeah, we got Neko at MASH now. Has a, has a neat little uh, effect. Gain one crit star when attacking with the card that you put it up, shove it on, and removes one poison curse or burn on, from yourself. Not terrible, not great, but whatever. It's nice. I don't have very many of these things to begin with. I don't have any things to actually put it on servants to begin with, so that doesn't help. Anyways, I got a lot of embers because I went to hell. I I absolutely went all out on those hunting quests to try to get as many things as possible, which is why I'm level 85 now. Anywho, outside of that, we got some summons to do. This is some side stuff to do. All right, first off, we got this thing, the Destiny Order. Um, this account's not doing any of this stuff because this is a free-to-play account, mostly. I already did it on my main account. Basically, this one, you get to... Uh, basically, it's a paid court summon. 30, so, you know, $30, basically. Um... You get to select one of each of these classes to decide which characters you want on there. And then you do the okay to roll. Like I said, I already did it. I did this on my main account because I do uh, do the GSSRs and stuff. Um, I ended up getting who was on my Berserker slot, which was Ku Alter. Though, uh, I did get a bonus 5-star in Constantine because for whatever reason, every year, there's always a banner that I roll two 5-stars on the same banner. Whether it's a GSSR or some other random thing. It's... It, it, which was funny because um, I actually had Bakin here as my as my five star rider, and when I saw the gold rider pop up, I was like, "Oh, okay, I guess I got bot." What? And then Kualtor immediately showed up after that, so that that was neat. Then we got these, yeah, these banners of GSSRs. You can only pay, uh, yeah, fifteen paid quartz. You can only pick one of these. As you can see, I have zero paid quartz. Not happening. So it was like. Decent band, like a lot of um, characters and such, and it, like like me going over them. Like this one would have been a nice one for my uh, main account, except for the fact that I already have all these characters, <laughs> and I have these two at MP2 and him at one, which is fine. Uh, this is the one I ended up going for because um, I want my main goal was Melison to get her to MP2 because that would be helpful, but otherwise I was fine to fight with the other two. This is one of the few banners that actually had characters that I wasn't going to get more copies of who I didn't care about. And I ended up getting Ryoma here. You also were guaranteed a 4-star, which I got Kynus, which was her, my MP2 copy. I kind of wanted Summer Melt, though, because I wanted her to get her to MP2, but, you know, whatever. And also, these banners kind of fall under a case of, like, this is a nice banner except for the fact of, like, meta support, meta support, and I already have them. I don't really need them higher. Out of this banner, I, the only person I have on this banner is Castoria, who would be f absolutely fantastic on this account, but yeah, I'm not paying. Especially for a 1 in 4 chance. She gets a banner later in this year when uh, it gets when it's getting closer to the 7th uh, Lost Belt, so I have another shot at trying to get her on this one, at least. I already have everybody here. Hmm. 
is going through the banners at this point. I don't really have much to really say on any of them. I think this was one, another one that I thought about. Mostly, uh, mostly just to get King Protea to two. Everybody, I don't care about Abby. Period. I don't even have any copies of Abby, and I don't have uh, Young Buffet at all. I have the other two. They're good. Oh yeah, I really, really want Bizet. But I have everybody else on here, so... <laughs> well, no, I don't have everybody else on here. Actually, the only two I have on here are the two in the front. Anyways, this is the banner I was thinking of. Which, uh, this is the anniversary one, which has Arcade finally added to the game. And Su Fu, who's a very good support servant, who would be very fantastic on this account. Um... Thankfully, Zufu is a normal 3-star, so she will be showing up in French Point Gotcha and Standard after this point. I actually did try rolling on this account with my main account, and I got absolutely fucking nothing. It made me sad. Okay, no, the last one I got through 4-stars. That's not actually nothing. <laughs> they were all characters I already had, and one of them, one of them, Ibaraki, was already MP5, so, but whatever. I can't say I got absolutely nothing out of it. I was actually really hoping for, to get at least one copy of Zufu, but whatever, I can wait to get her on the front point gotcha. Not that this count has a choice, has an option for that right at the moment. Anyways, let's do our freebies and stuff. It's gonna be like seven days before she's on the uh, thing anyways. Okay, nobody knew. Oh, right, I have to roll, right, I have a, uh, roll 30 people. Why the fuck is Spartacus like on every single one of these every time I roll? Like I said, why why are you why are you here? Every time, he's always there. <laughs> it's so weird. Wait. Oh, I'm so used to burning Mother, these that I did, did, didn't actually check to see okay. if uh, the the other two are actually MP5 or not. They might be. Not, not ascension. 57 days. Yeah, more than enough time. I was thinking, because summer's coming along. The, coming right along. Okay, good. Oh, that's the wrong one. Real one. Okay, getting him to MP2 is nice. I haven't used him in a while, but having stronger archers is always good. Uh, Jason's, uh, yeah, my locked version of Jason's not popping up, so he's already at five. Okay, cool. Anyways. Okay. So before we go to the other rolling, because I want to roll that banner specifically to try to get Zufu. If I can get Ark, that would be cool too, but yeah. I'm not going to go ha ham on it, though, but we'll start with this one first, because it's a trial quest. That means we get get to play around for her for a little bit. Yeah, put police at her. Okay, she's already set as a starting member. She's not going to have any story like other trial quests. It's just basically to let you see what, she, what she's like, so you can to get you to roll for her. But I'm a big Tsukihime fan, so I kind of want her anyways. Oh, she's already full. Nice. Okay. Uh, inflict seal, skill seal, decreases defense, three turns for all enemies, and increases our attack, three turns for yourself. I I know what this does. Uh, significantly increase MP gauge. Okay, it's at level 6. I believe at level 10 it's a, it's a full 100%. And increase MP strength, three turns yourself. Apply invincible one time, three turns to all allies. That would be really nice. Increase buff removal resistance for all good aligned allies. Plus, when on a Millennium Field ca Castle Field, which is part of our MP, increase MP gauge for all allies, excluding yourself. Okay. Change the field. 
Unfortunately, the, sec the, next, the second you go to the next thing, uh, the field changes back. But you can see that's still there. She also gets buffs when she's on that field, because I specifically remember she gets like a 30% um, Arts Buster and Quick buff while this field is active. So she's stronger right now just because she's on the field. Ah, yes, I believe my chains exist now. So if I did like this, yep. So now, um, I've, I've been managing my chains before. If, if a quick card was first before, what it would do is just increase your, uh, uh, MP, uh, quick card, uh, yeah, your quick, ah, your, your star generation for all of the cards after it. Now when you click on it, it increases the quick crit rate by 20%. Also, three quick cards now give 20 stars instead of 10. Also, if I do quick cards, if, if you basically have all three card colors, it will um, give you the effect as if you put each of these cards as the first card. So increase MP gain, increase damage, increase quick and crit. So if I do this. Which will be a massive buff for this account. Actually, starting with Quake is usually better. Yeah, you can see now that's 100%. Very nice. Oh, right, Ryogi. <laughs> I forgot she's assassin. <laughs> that didn't even cross my mind. Alright, well, anyways. Who are we fighting? Oh. Ah. Of course it's... The, right, it's the other two heroines. Of course it is. Why, why did that not even cross my mind until just now? I don't even know what I was thinking, considering the saber stuff. Okay, um... よし。どうやったのよ。Okay, and we gotta take it for doing that too. I think I got the tickets from the shop now, I think about it. Hmm. I don't think I've done that yet. Anniversary, there's more stuff on the exchange. Like, th these things would be nice. 
では今回の品物を紹介しよう。Of Get more tickets. Oh, right, that's 10 tickets, right. Ooh, these are kind of. They're pretty cheap. Definitely have to consider. Definitely have to consider. Do I have any rare presents? No, I don't. Yeah. I was about to say, because my main cow got some rare presents for doing this, too. Oh, well. Now then, summoning. Might as well just get that out of the way, otherwise it's going to bother me every time I look at it. Oh, right. I'm shocked that I didn't have that done already. I've been trying to, I've been trying to do those his daily stuff. Ooh, they're half now. I need gems. Lots of gems. Oh, they're all up. Nice. That means I get to pick and choose who I need. Yes. Archer, Lancer. Yes. Okay, I can actually get I can actually get gems and skill up. So, boy, this account's gonna be busy for a while. We'll see if I get back to this. Ah, okay. In all right, summon. Now, so I don't have to go through all the damn banners. Go backwards. There we go. Okay. So, I'm gonna roll a bit on this one. I still want to save some for summer, but. Yeah. Main goal, Zufu is pretty much the main goal. Ooh, okay. Well, that's actually one of the craft essences I have a choice of. I mean, I wasn't going to pick this one, but it's still a nice one to get. It increases arts effectiveness by 25%. Not going to complain. That could be quite helpful. I'm probably going to be seeing a lot of new craft essences pop up. What did that even do? I can never remember. HP recovery, okay. I can never remember because I never use it. As per usual. As to be expected. Alright. Let's start with some tickets. Assassin. Anybody new? Oh, okay. I actually don't have 100 personas. Okay. Yeah, I, I could start seeing more three star servants, which could be very helpful for getting MP levels up. Okay, another servant. Always exciting. Caster. Stop, please. Oh, who I don't have at this point. I, I kind of. Sometimes I forget who I have and don't have. Master. Okay, I do. I do have him. That's MP two, probably. That's the that's one of the anniversary ones. I forgot what that actually. <laughs> I checked on the other count. Uh, start gather rate 100 percent. Arts card effectiveness by two. Okay. If I need cheap stuff, I guess that's a, that's an option. Okay. Healthy marbles new. MP strength the by archer class has got it. I never really cared too much about those. <laughs> they're kind of a bit too specific, and their numbers are just kind of okay. They usually always put something better to put on there. Oh, either. MP strength, like that one. Ruin Church. Special defense male. Okay, that can that actually does have some niche uses here and there, when you, especially if you're fighting bosses. Charles 
Serpent. Archer. Always nice to get more archers, more intel. Okay. Cool. Okay. Now I'm gonna do a ten. Guess I'll back and forth. I'm gonna do too many tens on here. Like I said, I do want to save ports for other stuff, but there's some good stuff on here that I, that I do want. I don't have that one. Okay. The half. Yeah. It was the half knot. Protocol. We do have. That again. I can at least check and see what it does, because I legit do not remember how it goes for a lot of crap as it says that I don't you tend to eat. Really? Getting some deja vu over here. Okay, now it's not the same. Noticeable when you get in, in the bank to the pauses. Archer, who we got? Who we got? Really? Eh? Oh, yes, more MP copies of her would be fantastic. I, I do need that. Considering her anti male thing is only on the MP copies. Oh, the five star crash essence. Nice. Hey. Or uh, whatever that's supposed to be. Anyways, I, I got that on the main one. I, so, I saw what it did. It looked. I don't think it's something I'll ever use on my main account, but on this account it could be helpful. Because it's a 50% charge CE. 50% charge CEs are always good. Especially when you don't have very many options. Oh, getting a lot of Nemo. Okay. What does the have not do? Buff removal resist. Got it. There are a lot of bosses that love removing buffs. Arts effectiveness 8, crit strength. Not bad. Arts effectiveness 8, crit strength 15, MP's charge at 50%. Oh, it's pure attack too. Even better. Okay. Alright, some more tickets. Let's say I'm gonna back slip break it. I might have already done that already, when I think about it. Not sure how much that would increase its effect in this fight, but it's something. Jaeger. Oh shit! I was about to say, that's a huge ass pause. Is this a moon chance? Hell yes! That's gonna be huge for this account. サーバント<笑><笑> しばしの間貴様たちの生存を眺めてやろうではないか。
なんて偉そうな私の言い分は売っちゃってこんにちはカルデアの人私はムーンキャンサーアルクエド・ブリュンスタッドこれからよろしくねすぐにまた霊気第二で会いましょう That's nice. Yeah, get, getting Ark is very good. That would be very helpful for this account, jeez. Yeah, that, that was the one I was mentioning. When she's on Millennium Castle, it increases Ark, Quick, Arts, and Buster. Good shit. She also an does anti chaotic damage, which increases her MP level, unfortunately. So she's basically a case of, yeah, increasing her MP level actually massively increases her damage. Because her special attack trait and、um, her main damage is, on, is both on it. Okay, anyways,、uh, I'm still going for Sufu. I'm still going to do the same amount of rolls I was going to do, anyways. If I'm allowed to be greedy, I would like to get a second copy of her. <laughs> Archer. I don't even know if I even have the、uh, mass to even ascend her because I wasn't planning to get her. <laughs> I'm sure I'll find out when I check. I do have pure prisms to try to go for that because Ark is very, very important. He's a main damage dealer. She's in a class that's neutral to the vast majority of things I'm going to be fighting. Oh! There she is! I really need one copy of her. I'm probably just gonna do, finish up the 10 then. Sarbanto, Casta, Aratame, Aruta Ego. She may walk, Joff. Any sense for quite a while. In terms of the story stuff that I'm going through. Okay, anyways, let's finish up. I got the two characters I really wanted. One copy of her is fine because her MP is uh, mo uh, mostly he her MP heals herself. It also generates like 20 stars every turn. And increasing its level just increases the heal, if I remember correctly. So, giving her higher MP levels is not ne really necessary. It's helpful, but not necessary. Kotro, and. Oh, okay. Romulus. You can really tell the difference between year one servants versus year seven servants that I just got in terms of their introductions. <laughs> Anyways, uh, yeah, I'll, I'll save the rest of these, uh, the, the East Saint Quartz for later. Ha ha ha. Anyways, I got a lot of. I can, I can actually buff these characters up. Sufu will be very helpful. Okay, let's start with Sufu. So, Zufu is an Ultra Ego, as you can see. Which is not a class that we've gone over. <laughs>、uh, they got introduced during part 1.5.、Um, during the 3C event. If you recall from my Let's Plays of the 3C stuff,、uh, Ultra Egos were like、uh, Meltrillus, Passion Lip, and so on, who are in this game.、Um, Ultra Egos,、um, their class affinities are.、Uh, they do double damage against Berserkers, which. Says enough, which that's basically everybody except shielders, and so whatever.、Um, also, taking 1.5 times damage against berserkers. Again, that's basically everybody except one other class that I don't have yet, and we won't be seeing for a while, so I won't bother mentioning them for right here. Um, though, uh, 
Ultra Egos do have full class advantage against said class, but when we get to that, we'll get to that. Otherwise, Ultra Egos do 1.5 times damage to all Cavalry class servants, aka Rider, Caster, Assassin, and deal half damage against all um, uh, Knight class servants, Saber, Archer, Lancer. They don't. They don't uh, take half damage. They take neutral damage from all of those classes, so they don't have like a class advantage against any of them. So yeah, she's useful for the case of if I'm fighting mix um, cavalry classes, she can still do decent damage as well as being a very nice support. All right, let's start with this. I have a lot of embers from doing the advanced quest. <laughs> Ascension. Okay. Oh, yeah, yeah. Right, she needs these things for other classes. Okay, that could actually be helpful. I'm pretty sure I got a lot of those. That could be helpful. サイリン見て、レイを変化させました。こちらまたの名をスペースジョフクちゃん。Increases starts effect in this one turn, uh, uh, with three turns. Crit damage, apply special attack against undead for all allies, and decreases crit strength for all enemies. Yeah, she has nice skills. Um, I didn't go over her first skill. We've already gone over arc skills. Uh, Zufu, where are you? You're somewhere down here. Oh, no, she's higher than the one. Right. There she is. Uh, right, she needs multiples. Oh, no, that hurts. Especially the casters. I need those. Uh, her first skill, what does that do again? Restores HP and removes one debuff and increased MP gain for all allies. Okay, so yeah, the, the increased MP gain is tied to level, okay. Alright, also we got uh, increased uh, experience gain chance, so even better. Oh god, where is she again? <laughs> I, don't know, I don't know how I keep losing her when she's level 30 over here. Okay. Some servants have multiple lines, especially the newer ones, because the older ones typically don't. お酒のつまみにちょうどいいな。メモメモ。このサイリンはスペースジョフクちゃんママでお願いします。以上、デザインチェック風やり取り。Funny. Yeah, these are essential maps are pretty easy to get. お酒のつまみにちょう Are we making good use of her? これは私が Increase MP gauge, buff removal resists one, one ally. Increases Yume Ren's MP strength and MP gauge for one ally. I don't have Yume Ren on this account. I have her on the other one, though. She's being very nice with those supers. Oh, then. Okay, 
殺す術を探していたのですけど今はそういう欺瞞の力でも求められているのでしょうまあよりによってあなたにこぎ使われるのはムカつきますけどやってやりますかの神の脇異国の異国の異国の異国の異国の異国の異国の異国の異国の異国の異国の異国の異国の異国の異国の異国の異国の異国の異国の異国の異国の異国の異国の異国の異国の異国の異Uh, Moon Cancers are pretty simple. They are, they are anti、uh, Avenger. They have full class advantage against Avengers, and they have full class disadvantage against rulers. That's it. Everybody else they're neutral to. Yori Omoku. Yori Chisak. Chikara o s h u s o k s u r n o a y o i n a そうせかすなもうしばらく楽しませよこれは星の組織かうんいける奇妙な加工をするものだ Alright, can I? Oh! Caster was. Okay, maybe she'll be easy too. I actually don't know what her sentiments are. Oh, Mata say! Okatai Genke Kara Migarna Himini! Furui Watashiwa Saisin no Watashini Modo Chenchi! Jinri o Mamoren Sho? Mata say! Aratamete Yoroshkune, Master San! Yep, there's her significantly, but I probably do not have. Oh. Well, it looks like I'm gonna have to do caster stuff to get more of those, but I can at least level her up to max. Do it as high as she can get for right now. Level up! What is this? It's fun! Do it, do it, do it! Thank you! Okay, well, I was about to say, I do have pure prisms, but I'd rather not use those on those at that on those at this point in time. That's actually a very bad idea. I, I might need them for later, especially for other servants that are upcoming. And if you're wondering why I'm not instantly leveling her up to max, it's because I have other servants that I want to do that for,、um, specifically the summer servants, especially the first one. If I can manage to get her, it would be a massive buff to the account. Okay. Alright, so. That's it for the summoning stuff. God, that's went on for 40 minutes, isn't it? Huh. I guess I'm not gonna continue into. Um. Prison Tower quite yet. Not that it would make a difference when,、uh, when people are watching this, considering. Oh, <laughs> this will just probably just be just a side video. I'll get Ark. Ar I'll get definitely work on trying to get Ark's mats from my ha the happy little daily quest and see. About getting my characters as strong as possible. Not that she's gonna be terribly helpful in the next couple of missions on this thing, but you know, that it's still nice, considering how there's ruler enemies in there. But oh well. What the? Frame no say no, just a little bit of a good one? 
相手に合わせての出力向上じゃないのねこれが人間の言う成長かありがとう限りあるし。カルデアという舞台に合わせて再調整しました原型の私でもなく最新の私でもないこれはひとときの夢血に惑うことなく育った私というイフ口だけではない正しく真相の姫である状態です悪くはありませんビビたるものですが感謝を<音声>カルデア式ですねわかりますシンソ精霊は数あれど。星の頭脳体となる個体は限られています私はその一つなのでしょうが今はその責務から解放されているようです一つの命として外界と触れ合うことは新鮮で微弱で悲しいものですが決して無意味なものではありませんでした人がなぜ消え去る運命にある灯火を守るのかその理由がこの暖かな鼓動にあるのですね。Alright, so while, that I, while I'm thinking about it, I should be getting some of this stuff. So, well, not leveling up, but well, soon enough, anyways. Anyway. Well, while I'm thinking about Kratos, it says, let's get that thing taken care of. Because I need to level up my other servant so I can start getting back into this thing. You know, while I'm still taking full advantage of this. Because I do need to take advantage of that to get my character skills leveled up. But, we. Oh,、uh, where's the. Oh, right. I think I just exited out of that. Yep, exchange shop. Well, there's, th there's this, but I don't have any of these tickets yet. I can get those later, though. But this is the big one. Okay, so we got a nice t i c k e t for our anniversary. We got a nice ticket for exchanging for one of these craft essences. Okay, so I mean, I already know what I'm picking at this point. So let's、uh, go over what they do ahead of time. So, formal craft, which I do have, I got that from the Arc banner. Art's effectiveness by 25%. It's also pure attack. I think it goes up to 30% if you limit break it, you know, getting. All getting four more copies of this. Imaginary round, same with quick. Limit over zero.、Uh, limit zero over, 20 for Buster. Pretty simple. Not really worth using the ticket on, but yeah. Kaleidoscope. This is one that some people will pick because it starts with 80% NP. It's also pure attack. Now, there's always a chance I could get one later as well. It's been, that basically applies to everything. Um, on a brand new account, this is really, really good.、Uh, um, if you limit break it, it's 100%. And I've had situations where I've put in servants specifically just to pop their MPs and then just vacate the battle. Mostly buffs, or just have them just die. Like Arash. Arash can charge himself, has a skill that gives him 30% charge, so he can just come in with this, charge himself up, and then blow up everything, and then leave. It's, it's good, but, I, I, but with、uh, my current servants and such,、um, I'm going for the other one. First, my Cosmos. Very nice、uh, CE. Increases MP gauge by 8% each turn. Really, really good for supports, especially ones that, are not going to be, that you're actively not picking their cards for. Because it means that they're already gaining 8% every turn.、Uh, it goes up to 10% if you limit break it. 
Picking these things is a very important uh, decision. On my main account, it's not an important decision. I just have, need to decide which one to just grab just for the hell of it. Because I actually have all these limit broken as I checked on my account. <laughs> which is silly. Black Grail. This is the one that pretty much everyone's going to pick. So I'll we'll go over that one last because that's the one I'm picking. Uh, Volumen Hy Hydraginum. I really, I, I really don't know how to pronounce that one anyways. Anyways, this one. The one for Kanith. Um, apply Invincible three times and apply Damage plus 200. Uh, damage plus 200 is whatever. It's also the only thing that increases if you limit break it. I think it goes up to 500. Maybe less. It's a thing that if it's on... If you're really early in the game, that extra 200 per damage could be nice. It also helps against enemies that uh, just have like stupidly high damage resistance, which usually only applies to like certain special challenge quests. Like the crabs with 90% damage resistance, and this just adds another 200 right on top of the end end result. For most for most situations, it's not really that big of a deal. The apply invincibles on on the other hand is quite nice. You uh, slap that onto a berserker, and it means that they survive three hits easy. Also, it's pure HP. I believe it maxes out at three if you like got to level 100. It maxes out at 3,000 HP. So, yeah, that Berserker's going to be surviving for quite a while. So it's quite nice for that type of situation. And then Black Rail, which is the one that most people will be going for. Uh, increases MP damage by 60% at, uh, at a demerit of losing 500 HP per turn. Super early on, that uh, demerit is can be pretty bad if, you're, if your servers have low HP. But once you get past that, 60% uh, MP up is pretty good. Also, it's pure attack. In fact, it has higher attack than everything else. Uh, for whatever reason, it has 2400 attack if you max it out at level 100. Which I believe is higher than every other CE in the game. Uh, for the most part, this is considered to be the best CE in the game in general. And with Arc, I can enter like instant 100% charge, although I don't have that, have, it, have that at that level yet. This is pretty much my best choice. And plus, I wanted to get cover this right now so that I could actually... Uh, grab it right now. Specifically so I can shove it on her when I'm doing my daily grinds. Because it'll just make uh, one of the ways a lot easier. Black Rail. Glyoscope is also a nice thing. You can always have more than one of them and just slap them on multiple servants. Or you could limit break it. Honestly, I wouldn't suggest limit breaking it until you actually have five copies. Black Rail, on the other hand, you, we, you rarely, if ever, need more than one servant to have this on them at any time. So it's basically, as you get more copies, you just increase its level cap, which will increase its attack, obviously. Yay! Okay. Enhance. And I, w I was going to take full advantage of this uh, friend point. Well, I actually got a free one right now. I was going to take full advantage of it by doing the however many rolls I got. I think it said, like, 512. I probably should pay attention to that. Anyways, uh, the main reason why I want to wait is specifically because if I wait a little bit longer, it will be the summer event, which means the CE will change into the three-star summer event one, making it easier for me to grind because my this this account can actually participate in that. That and Zufu will e end up on the standard banner, meaning she'll show up in the front point gotcha too. She's not on there right now because she's on raid up. But once this uh, once this banner ends whenever that is, um, the 16th. I mean, by the time this video goes up, it'll probably be, like, somewhere around the 27th or so. Probably later. I, th I did a rough estimation. Did I get anything interesting? But yeah, I'm just gonna keep doing the pre preview ones and nothing. Okay. There you are again. Anyways. Alright, first off, Craft Essence. So a nice thing to do with craft essences, uh, like the low star ones, is to level them up, merge them, merge them with each other to limit break them, and then just level them up until like about 20 to 25. Um, they basically become what most people refer to as uh, craft essence bombs, CE bombs. Basically, uh, they level th they they level up your other CEs, um, give, giving basically lots of experience points to give to another craft essence. The main reason why you want to do it with uh, the low stars is because um, the game actually, because the um, it, uh, they level up faster, and the game uh, does the uh, does calculation for how much QP they cost based on what level they are. So it means that leveling these up 
is actually cheap. Leveling these up and then feeding them to a lar uh, larger craft doesn't to level them up all at once is significantly cheaper than just individually constantly feeding a big one. Anyways, Black Grail should be somewhere down here now. Where is it? There it is. So I'll give it one of these, and yep, it's left. Uh, it's left. It's already level 20. Which will increase his attack to 943. Nice. Anyways, I... Oh, I want to go to Sin. Because I can send a few servants right now, and it's a good idea. Specifically so I can get some of their strengthenings and make them better. Okay, uh, let's start with Waver. Also, I get three strength quartz for max limit breaking them because that's a new thing that was added in. Um, no, that for this one. Oh, right. Um, drops me at the bottom. I keep forgetting about that. Okay. Your ally, who I definitely need your skills for. which means I can get our third skill now. Hans definitely needs to be stronger because his strength things are very, very good. Is it monster? Yep, gains crit stars per turn. It has a strength thing, as you can see. And it get right now. I think at level one, it's five. I don't remember how high up it went. I had it up a bit ago. Uh, when it when it gets strengthened, it loses that defense down and does other stuff. I forgot what it, I forgot what. It, oh damn! I don't. Okay. Well, I'll be. I'm grinding this this note anyways. The caster ones, so I'll I'll have those sooner or later. Might as well just do Ezo because Ezo's cool. Another strong assassin. Plus, I get pure prisms just for leveling up. Oh, I don't have the chains. Damn. That hurts. Right. I don't have those quite yet. I'm kind of getting to the point where I need to just ignore those. <laughs> <laughs> Seeing so many caster ones because uh, because Ark and Zuku need a shit ton of caster gems. <laughs> also, a good idea to level up my characters now while I'm still while super success is still a thing that exists. <laughs> Who else was leveling? Shit. I forgot. Okay. <laughs> Do I need her up for some upcoming quests? <laughs> And then waver. So yes. Cool. Now I can start going for the strength things and make my characters even stronger. So yes. Fantastic. 